Welcome to another video in the SAP S4HANA Data Browsers playlist. In the video today, I will show you how to create a quick viewer query using Transaction SQ VI in SAP S4HANA 2020. For the demo today, I'm using a Windows Virtual Machine. Normally, I do all the demos on Mac OS, but there are some functions in the quick viewer that are only available for Windows. So if you are a Mac user, then you need to be careful that not everything will be working the same for you. I will start by going to Transaction SQ VI and for the demo today, I will do the same example as the one I did in SA16H. I will create a query that will display the full details of the GL account master data in SAP. This will include the chart of account details, company code details, and also the GL account description. And this requires that I join multiple tables to get to this result. So first I will start by inserting the quick view, or the quick view query name. So let's say ZGL account underscore zero one and then click on create here I insert a title so GL account master data and then in the data source here we have multiple options so either a table so this will be only one table or a table join multiple tables a logical database or a subquery info set. If we use a subquery info set, it will be similar to the info set queries. Now I will use table join, so I can join multiple tables, and then I will choose layout mode. These two will do the same function, it's just the layout of the screens inside, and then click on OK. And this is our very user-friendly screen where we can insert the tables and tell SAP how to join them. So I will click here to insert a table, and I will start with the company code details for the GL account, SKB1. So this is the main table I want to use. So for the example today, I want to be able to insert a company code and then SAP will show me all the details of all the GL accounts in this company code, including the GL account description and the chart of account details. So the main table I'm using is the company code GL account table, SKB1. And then the link between this table and the general the table for the chart of account details is through the chart of accounts. Now, this table doesn't have the chart of account, but it has the company code. So I need to insert another table that will have the company code and the chart of account. And then from there, I can use it also to link to the chart of account table. Now, the table that includes the assignment of the company code to chart of account is table T001. You need to think carefully about the logic of how the data will come before you create your query. So the table is T001. And then here, as you see, automatically, I have a link between the company code here and the company code here. SAP created this by default. I can create any other links I want by just pressing on the field and then dragging the line to any other field I want. And then if there is a condition that I want to remove, I can just click on the line here, right click, and then click on delete link. Now I will insert the third table, and this will be the GL account chart account details, SKA1. And automatically SAP has connected T001, the chart of accounts field, to the new table and also the chart of accounts field. The other link I want is the GL account number. So here we have the GL account number. So I will click on it and drag the line to the GL account number in SKA1. So now what will happen is I will insert the company code in the main screen. SAP will be able to derive the chart of account from this table and then we'll use this chart of account to select the values in this table. What I will add also is the text, the SKAT table for the GL account description. So insert, and here I insert SKAT. And automatically SAP has connected the chart of account and the GL account number to SKA1. This is all I want for my query. We can check the conditions by clicking here. And then if there are any errors, we will see them. We can also use this to insert another table. Use this to delete a table so you can Click on any table and then click on delete. We can also use this to remove the navigation screen here if it is annoying you, if you need more space. And we can use this to zoom in and out or we can export this to Excel. Once we are done, we can click on here. And then we move to the next screen where we can select the selection fields, the list fields, so the fields that will appear inside the report in the list, and also the sorting fields, totaling fields, and so on. There are two views available. This is the first one and this is the layout view. Or we can click on here and this will change to basis mode. This is exactly the same that, uh, as the one that we have chosen when we created the query. So if I click here, it will change to, to this view. Both of them will do the same function. It's up to you what you want to use. Then here we can open any table to see the available fields. 
let me open this a little. So here we have list fields and selection fields. A list field will appear inside the report. A selection field will be in the selection screen. And we can choose any fields we want. So for example, I want to be able to display all the fields here inside the report. So I want all of them to be list fields. Instead of clicking on one by one here, I can just go to this screen and click on the two arrows here. And then SAP will move all of them to the left. So now all of them are selection field, are list field. So now all of them are list fields. Here we can see the total number. So we have 152 list fields. This is the number of fields that will be available inside the report. Now for the selection fields, we can do the same. So I want to be able to select by company code, by GL account, and also we can select from this screen. So if you go to the tab of selection fields, here we can choose any row and then click on the arrow to move it to the selection fields. This is all I want for now. What I also want to add is the language in the GL descriptions, the language key. So this way I can choose only English. And this is it. If I want to add some sort fields, so the report comes out sorted in the way I want, I can choose the sort order. If I want to change the join conditions, I can go to data source and click on change join. I can also switch to the layout mode and I can change the labels of the columns. So for example, this is COCD company code. I can make it CCD and the GL account. I can choose to have it as GL number and so on. So we can edit the column headers, but this will only impact the list that will be generated when we run the report. It will not impact the selection screen. Then save, and now we are ready to execute our report. So I will go back, save quick view, yes, and then click on execute. From now on, anytime I want to run this query, I can go to transaction SQ VI, then insert the, the query name here or select it from the list. And you can also see all the queries available to the user here. So you can choose anyone. And this is available only to my user so far. I can later convert it to a normal query and share it with other users. But for now, only this user can see this query. Now let's execute and see how it looks like. Here we have our selection screen. These are the three fields that we selected. And then we have the output format. So I, I can display it as an SAP list viewer, a BAB list, graphic, and so on. You can go ahead and try these different options. So I will display an SAP list viewer. And I will not insert any GL account. I will just insert the company code and the language and execute. Here we have our columns. As you see, we have the labels that I changed. So CCD and GL number. And then if I go to the right, I can see all the columns available, including the GL description and the GL chart of account details. I can then change the layout if I want by going here, like any other standard report. And I can hide some columns or add some columns and so on. And this is how we can use the transaction SQ VI to create a quick view query in SAP S4 HANA. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to check the rest of the playlist, subscribe to the channel so you can see the next videos. Also check the channel membership program and don't forget to check the recommended videos here and also up there. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.